Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Zora and how you can be eligible for the potential airdrop. So as usual, just a disclaimer, nothing I say in this video is financial advice. And also the airdrop is not guaranteed if you're going to get an airdrop or how much you're going to get. And do stay tuned for the end of my video. I'm going to talk about my personal experiences doing this and also the bonus task. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, so what is Zora? Zora is an NFT platform. So it's like OpenSea, etc. But it's, uh, it's probably not as prestigious as in OpenSea as in, in terms of volume. But they do more of the like quirky art, art type NFTs. So after uh, after OpenSea and uh, I believe Blur, Zora is probably one of the most prestigious ones. So um, yeah, so in this video, I'm going to basically talk about how you're going to be eligible for the airdrop. So as usual, guys, you first want to add the chain to our um, MetaMask. Before I go into that, I just want to tell you about the fundraisers so they've raised in total 60 million and they've raised the last round uh, they raised 50 million so before that there is 8 million and 2 million the 50 million is at a 600 million dollar valuation so that's very interesting and they got coinbase ventures and Andreessen investing in them so recently they 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 launched uh, their own network on top of Optimi optimism's technology so here you can see their official tweet talking about them launching bit with uh, optimism's op stack so it's basically another layer two on on top of ethereum using optimism's technology and this is the article you can read if you want to as usual all the links will be in the description anyway so let's get started uh, let's get uh, into how you're going to be eligible for the um, airdrop what tasks you need to do so first things first you need to add the chain to your metamask so just click here click on this link uh, chain list and then click add to metamask and it will add it to your and uh, your metamask Next thing you need to do is you need to bridge funds from your chain, to, from another chain to Zora. So this is the official official bridge from Zora themselves. This only supports bridging from Ethereum. So if you want to do from another network, you're going to have to use Orbiter. And also, I believe the minimum on this one is higher as well than the other Orbiter. Anyway, personally, I use this one because I just think it's going to make you higher chances of being eligible. Um, for any rewards but you can use Orbiter I don't think there's going to be a big issue or anything so you can use Orbiter they do support the other good thing is they support from other uh, chains so it will be significantly cheaper for you to do from other chains to Zora of course so yeah so once you've got funds on the Zora, Zora chain what you want to do is you want to start doing some mints so when they announced the official um, the news recently about the OP stack they linked this one this uh, is called energy and they linked this actual nft so this one might be one that's like a significant one um to I mean as you can see they're extremely cheap um because obviously this is using op's technology it's not mainly ethereum so obviously the transaction on on average i've seen if you do these mints like you know when there's less congestion etc it ranges from like one to two dollars including the gas fees so that's just something um, to bear in mind. So this is another one, uh, Layer 0 collaboration with Zora. This is another one. I've, I'll link it in the description. So these are just a few on their own Zora platform, okay? There's a list of like some notable ones by this. Uh, I found just on this L0 Alpha. But if you want more, you can do more. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is um, follow them on their Twitter because every now and then they basically drop or they mention other people's work like other other artists work on their on their platform so on twitter they'll just shout out other nfts as you can see so follow them on there and just every randomly if you want to you can mint some but keep in mind some of them are going to be a bit more notable like for example if they collaborate with like layer zero or another crypto project obviously and that that could give you rewards on the other project as well so yeah this is another one i found that someone else mentioned on twitter or something to min so um you can see like if you do three of these they say it's free i'm not sure why free is the free and not, maybe because of like the gas fees or something like that but yeah so this is another one but yeah so the there's a bunch of nfts you can mint on their platform um but what i want to actually talk about is actually mint.fun we'll get into this later so this this platform mint.fun we'll talk about it later and um, but yeah you can you can win this if you want to but yeah, anyway, so what I want to talk about next is creating a collection. So a collection of NFTs. So what you can do is it's actually quite easy. Um, So you just go on their website, click this plus sign, hit uh, addition and hit ERC721. 
and then just upload the picture. If you need a picture, you don't have a picture, you can go to any of these um, Creative Commons website or where you don't have any copyright problems. Like um, there's a website called Unsplash, unsplash.com. You can just get a picture from there, upload it. Um, once you put the name in, it kind of figures out a symbol for you and then put description in and then upload the picture here. It will show how it looks like here. And then if you put zero ETH, you're going to earn rewards. So I just put zero ETH and then I put it on open. Basically all the features are left uh, default and then even this are left default and then that's it. And then once you're done, hit create and then it will create the NFT, um, the, the, the collection for you. And then, um, yeah, so the, the gas fees is like, I think it was like one, two dollars and I done like 10,000 NFTs. So, um, yeah, so it, it was extremely cheap. Not that if I done more, it would have been cheaper unless I'm just saying how much I done. So yeah, so create a collection on Zora. I think that's also going to boost your wallet rankings and just the engagement in general. And then lastly, what you want to do is you want to, you want to use this platform called min.fun. So they have this, um, fun drop pass that you want to mint. So I have got my referral link. I'll put it in the description and apparently that gives you some sort of, I'm not sure exactly what it does, but you people recommend to mint that. I think it allows you to mint or uh, mint. I think it gives you some, some benefits. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So once you've done that, what you can do is, well, I'm not sure if it's, if it's just because of that, but you can just, um, you can mint NFTs on this platform regardless of that. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what that does. Anyway, so this is one I just minted right now before I done the video, uh, Rainbow Extension. So Rainbow is never um, quite reputable um, wallet on Ethereum and uh, they, they, they launched an extension. Now, I don't know if it's officially by them, but I just decided to mint um, one or two of these. And what you can do, what you want to do is basically go on this platform and sort it by Zora. So now you're going to only see NFTs on the Zora platform. And as you can see, they're extremely cheap. So you can do like a few of them and it's not going to be like more than $2. So this is another platform, Mint.fun. So yeah, just this is uh, the one I minted earlier, the Rainbow extension. And then lastly, what you can do, I haven't done this personally, but you can buy uh, buy one of these absorbs by Zora. I think it's around um, 20, 20, yeah, right here. So 1.1.45, 1 0.01.4549 is around $24. So that's the cheapest right now. One of these zobs are going for i might still buy it it's much cheaper than i initially thought but personally right now i haven't done it yet so that's another thing that you can potentially do to increase your chances now i just want to go over my notes yeah spoke about everything any bonuses so what you want to do is go on the discord and get verified like you just have to do basic tasks to because there's that's the only role that's currently available i asked them and they, they told me and then buy a nft zob and make sure at least in your balance you have like 0 0.01 ETH um, on their chain so that it doesn't look like your your wallet's like you know a bot or something like that or you're farming so personally on this one I'm I'm definitely not far farming Zora I'm just doing it on one wallet but um yeah so I'm just trying to do all the different activities and just stay up to date and also guys what you want to do um you want to like this video of, <laughs> I did I did yeah so you want to like this video because I need to do the algorithm thing to you know, make my channel boost up, etc. And also what you want to do is you want to follow my Telegram and my Telegram chat and my official Telegram because I can only do the videos when there's enough things to talk about. Sometimes there's just like one task or two tasks. Like some of the previous airdrops I've done, there's like a new task for them. There's no point me making a full video just for like one task. So what I'll do, I'll post it in my, my, NF, uh, my Telegram um, group or I'll post it in my chat. So the chance is good anyway you can put it on you and ask your questions or whatever if you're not like very active but um sometimes i put stuff just for the just in the chat because the announcement channels got like nearly a thousand people and i don't want to like disturb everyone just for like one task so the chat is like more like enthusiasts etc so i put people in there i'll obviously leave the link in the description so yeah guys those are all the tasks that you need to do for zora i've like checked many threads and this is like the most comprehensive video you should be able to find to do on the task anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one